has increased since the pandemic started. Really, that was the only way for people to kind of get out and meet other people, right? So has the risk of people pretending to be someone else, and it's also known as catfishing. It's awful. Roy Sassoon, matchmaker and relationship... These were some of Grace Mullane's last moments, the night before her 22nd birthday. Captured on CCTV in Auckland in December last year, whilst traveling around New Zealand. Here, she was waiting for a date arranged through Tinder. Just hours later, the 27-year-old man she met turned out to be her murderer. <laughs> The story is about something that happened to me that made me feel scared and worried. I was feeling sad because my girlfriend broke up with me. She said it was because I drank too much alcohol. So I decided to try to meet new people on the dating app called Tinder. I met a girl on Tinder, whose name I'll keep private just in case it's important. She seemed really nice and pretty. We talked a lot and she wanted to meet me in person. I was happy because I thought she might like me. She said she would come to my house at around 10 or 11 pm. I was a bit nervous but I gave her my address anyway. Later that night there was a knock on my door. When I opened it, I saw a man standing there. He had tattoos on his arms and there were some other people with him. They came into my house and started taking things without asking. I felt really scared and didn't know what to do. Then the men with tattoos tried to hurt me. Luckily, my neighbor heard the noise and called the police. The police came to my house, but it felt like a long time before they got there. I was so scared that something bad might happen to me. Now, I feel lucky that I am okay, but I can't stop thinking about what might have happened if my neighbor hadn't called the police. I'm still worried about meeting new people online, but I'm glad that I'm safe now. So I'm currently in college and I decided to sign up for Tinder. It will be important to mention this now as in later in my photos, it's obvious I play football. I met a girl whose name I'll keep private just in case it's real. So I'll call her. Courtney, you matched about a week ago and her account was verified and I thought nothing was wrong. We were texting on Tinder and things were going well. She liked everything I did but she lived about 5 hours away. After a few hours of texting back and forth, she asked for my number as she said she was never on the app, so I happily gave it to her. We texted a bit, and she sent a photo to confirm it was her, so I did the same. Then she asked what I was up to, and I responded, nothing, just chillin', how about you? Then nothing, she didn't answer me back. I texted her saying what's up or what are you up to, but there was no response. This is where I'm starting to get worried. Yesterday was Halloween and there were a bunch of costume parties. I was dressed up and my face was covered. I go back to my dorm building and I see someone on my floor that I didn't recognize. I knew everyone on the floor. I approach them, thinking they are drunk and lost, so I want to help. They say they are looking for my name. I said there is no one on the floor by that name and ask why they are looking for them. They respond that they met online. She walks off, I go to my room and I rip the name tag off the door. I decide to call the girl's number and it says This number is out of use. My friend shared a terrifying story with me yesterday and it's honestly the scariest thing I've ever heard. I felt compelled to share it to remind everyone to stay safe and cautious out there. 
This incident happened to a friend of a friend not too long ago. So, this girl matched with a guy on Tinder and went on a couple of dates with them. On the first two dates, they went for coffee and walks outside. She really liked him, thinking he was friendly, good looking and they seemed to click. For the third date, the guy suggested she come over to his place to have some wine. Feeling safe and comfortable at this point, she agreed. When the time came, she went over to his place and he poured her a glass of wine. Things seemed to be going well, they joked around and had a nice talk. After a while, she started feeling strange. Now, luckily, this girl has been ruffled once before. So she immediately recognized the effects once they kicked in. She was extremely clever in this situation and pretended she was feeling fine. She told him as cheerfully and energetically as possible that she was quickly going to use the toilet, making it seem like nothing was off. Once she was in the toilet, she locked the door and immediately called the police. She told them she was drugged, locked in the toilet and they needed to come get her out of there. Shortly after, she passed out. She wakes up with the police, still feeling very drugged, siding in and out of consciousness. All she remembers is the police putting a bag over her head and they carried her. Out of there, she was saved. A few days later, she was asked to come down to the police station to give her account of the events. After doing so, she asked whether she remembered the police putting a bag over her head correctly or if it's imagined due to the drugs or what was up with that exactly. They told her they covered her head with the bag because they thought it would be too scary for her to see what the man had arranged in the living room as they carried her out. This gives me chills. The guy ended up in jail and to this day, she doesn't know what he had in mind for her. But it's clear this was a very messed up and incredibly scary situation that could have ended horribly. Please, 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 always let someone know when you're planning on going on a Tinder date, even if he feels safe, even if it's not your first date, always ask a friend to call and check up on you during and after to let someone know you're safe.